Uh, Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your DVDs. There's a lot of people in the Linux community who can't figure it out, which there's really no way to do it. K9 copy really don't work as well as some of the it don't work well at all. This will pretty much break any any encryption, but it's meant to back up your DVDs. So the first thing you're going to need to get Let's go to Applications, go down to the Ubuntu Software Center, go up here, and punch in Wine in the search bar. And the first one that pops up, you'll click on it, and up here it'll say Install. Once you install that, next thing you'll need is DVD Fab. It's free. And I'll leave the the link in the com in the info so you guys can find it. But it'll be this first one. It'll say DVD Fab HD Decryptor, and then right on below it'll say Download. You need to download that. The next thing you'll need is DVD Shrink, which I'll leave a thing for it. Let's see here. You'll hit Download. It'll come to a download here. You might have to hit try again there for it to work, but that's the first thing you need. The next thing is installing it. Oh, there it went. I don't need to install that. The next thing you'll need is to install. I don't know. Quit. Next thing you'll need is to do once you download them. Click on them. Well, that's not letting me click on it. Well, click on it, go down to properties, go to permissions, and make sure to execute here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Make sure that's clicked. So when you go to install it, next thing you'll do is click on it. You'll do this for both files. You'll have to set the permissions on both files here. You'll go through and install it. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. So the next thing you want to do is go to your home folder. Go to your home folder. Make a folder here. I'll create a folder. Well, no, not really. I've already done it. But I've already done so because I, I did Tombstone. So just make an empty folder. The next thing you'll do, once you have all that stuff installed, go down to Wine, go to Programs, go to DVD Fab 8, click on it. Go down to where it says. Make sure you click the Free Edition. That's what you want. And I'll hit that. Start DVD Fab. OK. Now it's already asking me. I had the DVD in. I'll hit OK. And it'll start that. Scanning. Next thing you need to do. Well. Next thing you need to do is. Go here and change your file folder. Which I will do, and I'll pick where it where it's at, and I'll click OK. And then I'll hit Start, and that'll start copying the DVD. 
Once you've got that done, next thing you need to do is back to Applications, go to Programs, go to DVD Shrink, go to DVD Shrink 3.2. Now, to open disk, open disk, or no, open files, my, my bad. Go to where you had that stored, which I had that stored. You'll see here, it'll say home, it'll say my name, and I will go to Tombstone, which is right here. click on it, keep clicking, it'll say full disk and then tombstone and you want the video TS file. So click it, go down and hit the OK button. It'll start decrypting the movie, putting it into that file. Which it shouldn't take very long. Okay, now it's in. Now I need to go up, click the backup button, hit the browse, make sure you're make sure you have it on. It'll say select backup target. You wanna make sure that's on ISO image file. Like here is so. Next is where you want to browse. You want to browse. You want to go to. You see a, a backward slash here, like that. You want to click on that, and then go to home. And I'm going to set it in my home folder here, just for the heck of it. And then name it what you want to name it, which I've already named it. I leave it with what it's named, and I'll hit the save button. And then I'll hit OK, and it'll make a ISO of this. Now, the next thing you need to do is have a burning software. I use KB3. So, I'll go in here. I'm not. Go in here, and I'll look KB3.